Season seven of Tyler Perry's Sisters will be here before you know it, and I already have the first three synopses. And in this video, we're going to talk about episode number one, titled New Beginnings. What's good, y'all? It's your good sis, Erica Vane, coming to you right here on Erica Vane TV with another Sisters video. And if you're new here, hit that subscribe button so you don't miss out on any of my Sisters content and conversation. And without further ado, let me go ahead and read the synopsis for you. Again, the episode is titled New Beginnings, and the synopsis reads, New romances and old tensions collide as we check in on the lives of Andy, Karen, Danny, Sabrina, and Fatima three months later. I like this. I like the feel of it, y'all. I ain't even gonna hold you. I've been very, very excited dropping multiple videos every single day this week in preparation for the new season, which is written by a whole news writer's room. Um, some of the things that we know already, I'm just so excited about. And while this synopsis doesn't give us a ton, I have done a breakdown of the trailer and teaser that we got to see. So you can check that out after this for a little bit more clarity. And I'm going to just mention some of those things because the new romances and old tensions that I think that they're talking about are Danny and Tony making it official, Sabrina and Rich making it official. Um, you know, at the season finale, Danny uh, potentially gets abducted, which I have not actually seen yet because I'm recording this before the finale airs. Um, but she also received um, a picture of of Preston and Mindy on their wedding day, which is very weird because he had just left her the day before. Um and in season seven, we get quite a bit of instances where Danny is still, you know, interacting and having sexual interactions with Tony so much so that she meets his kids and it gets a little complicated. So we I, I really feel like the quickie wedding that Preston had is something that really helped push her to try to move on as quickly as possible, which is why she's in the space of this new romance with Tony and just giving herself to this. Um, Sabrina is in a much better place, I think, romantically, a much more healed place. Like, I don't think she's as wounded from Calvin as, um, Danny is from Preston. So I'm not really opposed to her moving forward rich. However, if you have checked out my breakdowns or read ericavane.com, you know that there is, um, a conversation around freezing eggs and a boyfriend and don't want to have kids. I do have a couple videos talking about their relationship because that has already been revealed um, and tied to her storyline. So it's going to be a little bit more complicated. And I love this. Like, I just love that we're getting a little bit more depth and nuance to Danny as well. Well, specifically Sabrina. Like, I love the the journey that she's about to go on and, and wanting to freeze her eggs, getting into a new relationship with someone who seems a little bit more equally yoked. Whether y'all are rooting, were rooting for Calvin and Sabrina or not, at the end of the day, they really just weren't aligned. Sabrina is a very passive and meek person, but she still cares so deeply about what others think and how others perceive her. And Calvin was a, a little bit more um, confident in his metrosexuality until he got into the relationship with Sabrina, which made him question a lot, which pulled him into a space that like, I think brought him down to like a lower vibration and not that Sabrina is like a lower vibrating person, but when you get matched with someone who just isn't aligned with you, who makes you feel, you know, off or makes you question certain things about yourself, it just might not work out. It doesn't matter how good y'all look together. And I think that Calvin was a good friend to Sabrina, but at the end of the day, she couldn't get past certain things with them sexually. She could not stop seeing him as gay or potentially gay and lying to her. And it just wasn't a good look for either one of them. So I'm interested to see Sabrina in this new romance with Rich, where they seem a lot more equally yoked. They seem a lot more aligned. He gives, the, you know, the type of man that she would want to be with versus Calvin is like, oh, he's a man, but he don't look or walk or talk like the type of man that she wants to be with. The only problem is going to be when she wants to actually have children. And I think that's a very real conversation to have because plenty of women of a certain age have to think about that if they're still dating and looking for lifelong partnership. Now, the old tensions that I think they are referencing is tied to Andy, Andy, Andy all the way because it is Gary's ass. 
Penelope and Andy's lives are still intertwined. I think that they're going to be working together in season seven to try to bring Gary down. He is going to be going through an FBI investigation and maybe they can help with that. Um, and then also y'all word on the street is that Gary is going to try to force Andy to marry him. Mm hmm. So yeah, she ain't gonna be able to release that demon just yet. I actually have a video detailing that. So y'all gonna have to check that out on, uh, to talk more about that. Cause I ain't gonna do that here. Hit the subscribe button. Cause you ain't gonna miss out on any of these new, new updates as they roll out. Um, and then when it comes to Karen, this is three months later, as I mentioned in the synopsis. So she is much further along. She should be about five months pregnant once we, we meet back up with them in season seven and we are prepping for the salon to open. Um, and it's a very, very exciting time. I think that that's more what it's about for her because she's falling in love with her new space, not necessarily a new man. Mm hmm. And then also Fatima is probably struggling with old tensions just because of what's going on with Zach in the custody battle at the end of season six, where she puts hands on Heather. It definitely probably doesn't end well. I wouldn't be surprised if they haven't been fighting a, a court battle for assault charges because Fatima chose to do that. So Andy and Fatima seem like they're the ones struggling with the old tensions. Uh, Danny, Sabrina, and Karen are dealing with the new romances and Karen's romance is what uh, inanimate object in her salon, not necessarily a person. That's what I'm picking up for season seven, episode one, based off of this synopsis. It's titled New Beginnings and it definitely feels like it's going to be a new beginning. If you want to read this synopsis or any other or know the moment that new synopses are available, then go over to ericavane.com. I'll link it in the description box down below and you can read them all for yourself. Again, this is going to be premiering on January 3rd. Let me know what you're most excited about in episode seven. Um, let me know what you're most excited about in season seven of Tyler Perry Sisters. And if you're not ready to go yet, then click this video here and we can go ahead and talk about the synopsis for episode two.